What's up YouTube, it's JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. As always, I wanna start this video by thanking each and every one of you for joining me today. I would be so grateful and honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you wanna know when the latest content is available, please click the notification icon so that you'll be notified when I drop my latest videos. Welcome to part one on my series of the all new Samsung Ultra Wide Monitor. Now this is a 21 by nine aspect ratio monitor. And what we're gonna do in part one is we're going to unbox this. We're gonna take a close look at it and I'm gonna go over all the specs. And then we'll continue on with part two very soon. Now, depending on when you see this video on YouTube, the video might be out if it is out already, the card will be right above me for you to click on to see part two. If not, it will be out soon. Now, let's jump in, get this unboxed, and we'll start talking about these specs. All right, so I'm really excited about this monitor. It's a little pricey at $430 roughly, but remember, it's 34 inches, so it can take place of two monitors. I think that is a great feature. This is Samsung DeX compatible. For you Samsung lovers, that's awesome. And then for you gamers, of course, it has AMD FreeSync, and that is already built in and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and um, open this up. And instead of boring you pulling out all this stuffing, what I'll do is I'll get this all unboxed and lay it out and we'll talk about it. All right, so there's two pieces to put the stand on. It's really easy. Here's a screenshot of how to do that. The one piece just snaps right into the bottom. As soon as you do that, you take the piece with the two screws, it slides over the top. Make sure to hold those screws up. When you slide it over and it locks into place, go ahead and screw those down with a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, let's take a look at this beauty. Now, as you can see, it is a very wide monitor, which I think is awesome. In the box, they do give you an HDMI cable and a manual. I like to upgrade my HDMI cables, but they do give you one. And then of course, this is the power brick. Now, this is a monitor that is, you know, got business or gaming in mind, but it's a multitasking beast. And I wanted to go over just the physical specs with you. And then what we'll do is we'll take a closer look of the inputs up close and take a close look at the monitor. And then in part two, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hook this up and we're gonna check out what it can do live. But so you guys follow me, this is the 34 inch SJ55W Ultra WQHD monitor by Samsung. It has two HDMI ports. One is a 1.4 port and one is a 2.0 port. Um, it does have one display port and a headphone jack, which is pretty cool. Now, the color of this one is dark blue and gray. It does have a full tilt with the stand, and it looks it goes from negative 1.5 degrees to plus 1.5, and then negative 15 to plus 2. So it looks like you can, you know, swivel this around pretty good. Um, other than that, the product dimensions. So you guys know this is a big thing if you're putting it in a certain desk. Um, it says the product dimensions with stand is 32.60 uh, times 18.53 times 9.52. So again, this is pretty large. And then without stand is 32.60 um, by 14.54 by 4.16. And of course, I'm putting all of this so you guys know up there. Now, the weight with stand is 15.2 pounds, so it is a little heavier. And then without the stand, it's 14.10 pounds, okay? Um, now, let's talk about a few of the features that make this thing different. Of course, we have AMD FreeSync. And if you don't know what AMD FreeSync is, I'm gonna put a little thing up here so you can read along with me. But AMD FreeSync basically synchronizes the refresh rate of your graphics card and your monitor to reduce tear and stutter. And it also drops the input lag so you basically have you know, a better experience game, gaming. I think it's a must have for any monitor if you're gonna be playing games. Now, PBP and PIP. Now, this is where it gets different and really cool. So picture by picture, as I said before, this can be split in half and you can have two separate displays running on one monitor. 
To me, that separates this from a lot of monitors out there. But what's really cool is if you use the picture-in-picture -picture mode, you can actually shrink it down to 25% and move that image anywhere around that you want. So maybe you're watching the stock market and you wanna shrink that down and put it in the corner of your screen and you're gonna work on your Excel spreadsheets up here. Um, any of that can be done on this. And again, in part two, we're gonna go ahead and look at different functions and modes and setups. So this is where I want everyone to kind of grasp the resolution. So if you take this whole screen, and again, look up here, I have a screenshot. So at the 21 by nine aspect ratio, you get a full 3440 by 1440 P, okay? So that is great. And then if you go to 16 by nine, it drops the resolution to 2560 by 1440. So the extra resolution is basically coming because this is such a wide monitor. Multitasking is basically what this is built for, and I can't wait to check it out. Now, another thing that I want you guys to keep in mind is that the ports that we're going to look at right now are going to be on the backside. So depending on how you want to have this set up is going to be how you have it tilted. So what I'm going to do in part two also is we're going to look at viewing angles because what my idea is, is I'm going to run actually out of my computer, a TV monitor, the Q9FN, and then I'm going to run this also. And I'm going to do, you know, some testing on that later, but it's going to be awesome to check this out. This definitely looks like a great monitor. It separates itself by being unique and letting you multitask. And the fact that you virtually have two monitors in one, I think, justifies its price tag. So let's take a close look at the back and all around, and then we'll get All right, finished. so I just wanted to show you guys an up-close look at the back. As you can see, it has nice Samsung logo branding on it. Um, by the way, the power button is actually right there. It's on the back on the right corner. Um, if you're facing it, you'd reach your right hand over and turn it on. It has a nice finish on the back, kind of like the Samsung QLED TVs do. You have that vent going across the top. And then just a real quick look here, HDMI port one and two, so you can separate those screens, DPN, headphone jack, and then of course the power. Now, I know what you guys are saying. You wanna see it turned on. Well, I'm trying to separate these videos, make them a little shorter, so don't forget to tune in for part two, and we're gonna go through all of the setup and turn it on and see this bad boy in action. Well, that sums up part one on the Samsung Ultra Wide Monitor. Don't forget to check out the next video in the series as soon as it's available. As always, I wanna take a moment to slow down and just remind you, life is so short. Every day I turn on the TV, I go outside, I talk to people, and it just seems that the world just keeps getting worse. We are the only people that can change that. Go out today and do something good for someone. Change someone's day by a simple act of kindness. Buy someone a burger at McDonald's, buy them a soda, help them carry groceries to their car or take them out of their cart. It could be a small gesture of gratitude. It could just be anything to make someone's day better. Please don't forget to love your family, love your neighbors, take care of each other. Never let technology take away the relationships that you have in your house, the relationships that you have with your family. Always put people first and your loved ones first. I do YouTube for you and you only. If you have questions about anything tech related, you can find me on Facebook, YouTube, of course, in the comment section, Instagram, or Twitter. I have answered every single comment when someone has asked a legitimate question and has been respectful and nice, of course. So I'm here for you. Please reach out to me if you have any questions. I am so thankful that you watched my video. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you have not yet. I'm JB Tech Fanatic. I can't wait to talk to you in the comments section and see you in the next video. And until then, you guys take care. I got nothing but love for you all. Peace.